I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you a secret about Troy Silva. If you wanted to get me out when I was younger, just throw the pitch on the outside corner three times in a row. I hated outside pitches. Most people I know hate outside pitches too as well. And this video is gonna help you hit outside pitches a lot better. And it's gonna give you the ability to understand what's a strike, what's not a strike, what the umpire calls, how do you adjust, how do you train, and how do you actually get better about hitting the pitcher's bread and butter, which is the outside fastball. Stay tuned and watch the whole video and you will become better at hitting at some point in your career. Baseball truth, you shall know the truth and that truth shall set you free, both mentally and physically. Outside pitches are horrible to hit as a hitter. And if you don't learn how to hit an outside pitch as a hitter, you're gonna get dominated. And you probably have to go play soccer or be a pitcher only at some point in your life. I had to be a pitcher only when I was in pro ball and it was the worst day of my life. Anyway, long story short, we're gonna teach you guys how to hit an outside pitch today. And we're gonna teach you what it takes to be really good on the outer part of the plate. The first thing you need to know regarding outside pitches is you have to understand that's where the majority of pitches will go during your lifetime at every level. As you get into high school, as you get into college, maybe pro ball at the higher levels, there's more pitchers that will pound you in a little bit. But at the younger levels from whenever you're young, they're just trying to throw a strike, but when they can start locating, most of the pitches are gonna go to the outer corner of the plate, even off the plate a little bit. So if we don't learn how to have an approach to look for something on the outer por portion and to be able to hit it on that spot in that location, we're never gonna be very good. Me as a hitter at a young age, and this is probably most of you that are listening to this and you coaches that are listening can attest to this too as well, I was the king excuse maker. A king excuse maker. I would be in the box and I'd be like, throw me my pitch, he'd paint the black, and I'd be pissed off at the, at the uh, pitcher for throwing it there. Literally looking at him like, throw me a pitch. He's trying to throw it where I don't like it. He's trying to get me to a location where I don't like. That umpire is going to call it where I don't like it. So if I learned at a young age, instead of making excuses, but to learn how to make adjustments and actually challenge myself on the way I trained to learn how to hit that pitch, I would have been way better. And who knows, I wouldn't have been doing these videos if I was better at this. So the purpose of this video is to teach you guys what happens, how do you hit an outside pitch. The, the majority of the pitches that you're going to get, I'm not going to give a percentage, but it's at least 75 to 80% are the pitches that are going to go on the outer part of the plate. So if you look down at this right here, you're going to know that this outside pitch right here if, if a pitcher can locate and if a pitcher can hit that pitch right there, it's almost an impossible pitch to really hit well. So you have to understand what you can do with specific pitches and what you can't. But first of all, get back down here, is this pitch right here is gonna get called a strike 100% of the time. This pitch right here is gonna get called a strike 100% of the time. This pitch right here is gonna get called a strike 50 to 75% of the time, depending on the umpire. I remember getting pitches out here. You've seen videos online of pitches out here. You have to learn What's a ball, what's a strike, but you have to learn what you can handle and how to handle it. If you can't hit this pitch right here, you'll never be successful. This one right here, sometimes you just chalk it up, it is what it is, and you just gotta do what you gotta do, but you gotta learn how to hit this area. The problem is, look at this in here, most of the time we work from this area to this area. So most of the time, we're hitting pitches in our wheelhouse and BP from here to here. So we have to learn that this is a pitch that you're not gonna get very often, and you're supposed to smash this pitch right here. So we have to learn how to hit this pitch right here. So the point of this video is to show you now how to do it, okay? Now here's the second point of how to do it. This is what's going on, and you have to understand too, the umpire is always standing on the inner half of the plate, and this looks like a strike to them too. So it's not their fault. This looks like a strike when it's off the plate a little bit. So understand that too as well. Now, second thing, the traditional school of thought of hitting middle in and out is this right here. You get the out, the out pitch out front on an inside pitch, you hit the pitch there, so you have this angled like this and this outside pitch you had to hit it deeper in the zone which i agree you got to hit an outside pitch a little deeper in the zone but what usually happens when you work on this is a lot of kids will hit it too deep in the zone and they're not getting it where they need to be now here's the thing i agree with this 100 percent but what should happen is all these pitches should be out front a little bit more depending on where a kid stands in the box no matter if it's an inside pitch or an outside pitch you got to make sure that is out front and you're on the out front part of your body. So no matter if it's an outside pitch, you're still gonna hit the ball out front. You're not gonna be hitting the ball way back here on an outside pitch. And if you're doing that consistently, you're never gonna be very good. So understand that first, okay. Now once you understand that, the second part is approach. How do you approach it? How do you approach it? If you're a three, four, five hole hitter, guess what? 
you're not gonna get challenged in very much. You're just not, it just is what it is. You're gonna get away, away, away. So if you're a big power type of hitter, you gotta learn to look for that pitch. You gotta learn to have an approach on that pitch. If I just did one thing when I was younger, is actually look for a pitch away versus look for a pitch in, I would've been that much better. If you threw it in, I was gonna smash it, but I would struggle on the outside part of the plate just because I was always looking for something in my wheelhouse that I can crush and not understanding what type of hitter I was and what I could have been. So understand that most of the pitches are gonna go out there. So how do we do that is we basically get in the box and what I mean by looking outside is that means don't be doing this stuff right in here expecting the ball to be inside, okay? Most of the time, and this is just a common approach and this is approach that works generally but not for everybody, most hitters need to look away and adjust in these days unless you're super duper slow to the ball, then it's opposite. But you gotta learn that most of those pitches are out there, so you gotta learn how to do it, okay? So when I'm coaching, I'm telling my kids, okay, this kid right here throws a lot of fastballs away, you gotta look for the pitch away and go get it. What happens is, if you're looking for the pitch away, you're not gonna be doing this stuff right here. If you're looking for the pitch away, you're gonna be right there looking for it, and if you do get it, you're gonna drive it. The next thing about the outside pitch is understanding what you can and cannot do with that pitch. If the pitch is painted on the black and the pitcher actually makes a good pitch, which they do sometimes, high five pitchers, you guys actually make good pitches sometimes. If they paint the black, it's on the knees, there's not much you can do with that pitch besides just drive it over the second baseman's head or in the four hole sometimes, or maybe even bloop one down the right field line. If they leave it up, if they leave it on the plate a little bit, then that's the pitch you can actually drive in the gap. So as a hitter, we have to understand what we can and cannot do with that pitch. A lot of times, hitters take that pitch that's down and away and try to do too much with it and not understand that you can just drive it that way. Okay, so understanding that what you can and can't do with the pitch is an important thing, but the next part is the most important thing of this video. The last thing I wanna talk about is your training method, your training mechanism. What do you do to actually train this? Most of the time, and I say most of the time because this is very common, you train for wheelhouse BP. Wheelhouse BP is a coach lobs it in your wheelhouse, you're always working middle, middle in, and you're smashing and you feel good. You go to the cage, you're smashing, then all of a sudden, you get into a game and you wonder why you can't hit it because the pitcher's actually locating and painting the black and you've never worked on that pitch. So the best way to actually get better at this is actually work out of your comfort zone. One of the biggest problems in hitting instruction these days is you work in their comfort zone. Yes, hitting is about building confidence and learning how to like swing the bat quickly and aggressively, but you gotta work out of your comfort zone. Once you get to a certain level mechanically, the best way to improve as a hitter is to do things that are not down the middle of the plate, to do things that are hard, that are challenging. So when you're doing your daily BP, I don't even allow my hitters to set the tee up hardly middle anymore. It's either in or out. So they're actually learning how to hit an inside pitch versus an outside pitch, which leads to another question. Is there a difference in swings on a pitch in versus a pitch out? Minor, pitch inside, you're gonna rotate your hips more and get more this way. A pitch outside, you're gonna rotate your hips about three quarters and drive your hands that way. So the minor tendencies, as far as the swing plane, the swing plane is the same, but the minor tendencies is what your hips and your hands do. Basically, throw your hands and your hips to where the location of the pitch is. So you do have to make that adjustment. But back to the training part. If you're not training on this pitch and learning how to hit this pitch, how do you expect to hit it in the game? If all you can do is tee work, set that tee up on the corner or off the plate a little bit and actually have yourself be able to reach for it and drive it that way. How many times do you as a hitter set up the tee right down the middle of the plate? Say always, because that's usually what happens. I go watch teams practice, I go do everything and I set the ball up in the middle of the plate. You get here, you swing and someone says, do this, do this, do this. And you're training yourself to have a robotic, mechanical swing right down the middle of the plate, which you're never gonna get that pitch hardly. Train yourself to be able to adjust. So put the pitch in a location that's not down the middle every time. If you're doing front toss or live arm, have your coach or somebody doing it, throw the ball out here and then learn what's a strike and what's a ball. If it's, if it's four inches off the plate, take it. If it's two inches off the plate, learn how to hit it because that's gonna be a strike at every level. Understanding what the strike zone is, what the, hit, the, the umpire is huge. Quit complaining about it and learn how to adjust to it. So take your BP and if you really wanna get better at this, you better because if not, you're not gonna hit very well. Learn how to take your training and your BP to a different level by learning how to hit that pitch off the plate. So. Please, I, I'm begging you if you wanna be good at baseball, stop doing wheelhouse BP. Understand to learn how to hit that pitch and understand what it takes to actually drive a ball that way or just put a ball in play that way too as well. And learn how to look away because 75 to 90% of the pitches are gonna be out there the rest of your life. It is what it is. And if you can't learn to hit it, get some shin guards for Christmas because you're gonna to have to learn how to go play soccer or start running a lot with your J-bands because you're gonna be a pitcher only the rest of your life. Learn how to hit an outside pitch. God bless.